At Toto, flushing technology is a serious science. Quality assurance is foremost. Toto's series of performance tests are the most rigorous in the plumbing industry. Toto tests and retests, using more than 10 evaluations, in fact, to validate flushing technologies. To ensure reliable performance, Toto's stringent testing standards imitate real-life scenarios. Toto conducts many liquid tests, including one with 500 milliliters of dyed liquid, 150 milliliters more than in common bathroom breaks. Toto understands that accurate testing must recreate normal conditions. This means a fully restored water level in the bowl plus the waste you add. In test after test, Toto's Ultramax 2 with double cyclone technology removes all liquid waste every time using only 1.28 gallons per flush. That's high efficiency plus performance. Yet a balanced, high-efficiency toilet must clean the bowl and rim as well as flush media. A toilet paper test ensures complete bowl cleansing and paper removal, while the ink line test proves that the flush consistently and completely removes rim debris. Toto's high-efficiency toilets perform the best because we have the best testing practices. Toto is proud of our high-efficiency, high-performance 1.28 gallon per flush toilets and water conservation. And as consumers, you should accept no substitutes. The first step in replacing the Champion flush valve is to shut off the water supply to the tank and disconnect the water supply. Next is to drain the water out of the tank by lifting up on the flush tower and holding it up until all the water drains out of the tank. The next step is to remove the refill tube by simply pulling it off. And next is to disconnect the bead chain from the trip lever arm by pulling out the pin and holding on to the parts. After that's all disconnected, take a long socket wrench and remove the nuts that hold the tank to the bowl. The next step is to take the tank off of the bowl and lay it down on a stable work surface. The top of the toilet seat works well for this, but put a towel down on the seat so that it doesn't get scratched. Remove and save the tank coupling gasket, and using the special wrench that's provided with the new flush valve, remove the nut that's holding the flush tower in place and then pull the flush tower out and discard it. Insert the new accelerator flush valve with the vent tube facing the water control. Hand tighten the nut that holds the flush valve in place and then again using the special wrench tighten it about three quarters of a turn. There should be about one to two threads showing at the bottom of the flush valve if it's properly tightened. Finally, replace the coupling gasket. The next step is to reattach the bead chain to the trip lever arm. Remove the hairpin cotter from the new clevis pin assembly that came with the new accelerator flush valve. Insert the clevis pin through the inbound hole location on the trip lever arm. Reinsert the hairpin cotter through the clevis pin hole. Cut two inches off of the end of the refill tube. Save the S-clip off the end that's being discarded and use it to reattach the refill tube to the vent tube of the accelerator flush valve. The refill tube will not have any kinks in it and the end of the tube will be inside the vent tube. The next step is to put the tank back onto the bowl. Retighten the nuts that hold the tank to the bowl. Tighten them in an alternating fashion. Reconnect the water supply. Adjust the water level to one inch below the overflow tube. And finally, replace the tank lid and you're done.